Hey, what's up guys? It's your girl Kia back from another video. And as you can see, we are talking about Boosie. Unless you're living under a rock, you know what's going on with Lil Boosie. You know what he said on his Instagram page. And we all know Boosie Badass is an idiot. He's not a smart person. He's dumb. He's been doing nuts so things on his Instagram. But when I was going through his comments, I noticed a lot of people had very interesting reactions. There were a lot of guys who, who were saying how they had sex with an older woman and how they feel like they were taken advantage of, but they never talked about it because they didn't know what to do. Or there's other guys who are like, oh, I was luckily, lucky to take have an older woman take me under her wing and teach me how to do things. Um, and then there were other people saying, well, what's the big deal? Like, he's just trying to make sure his son's not gay. Let me tell you this right now. It is the, all that is the epitome of toxic masculinity from women giving it to men, thinking that that's how a man's supposed to act. He's supposed to be a conqueror of women. He's supposed to have this sexual prowess from a very young age, but they're not. From men thinking that that's okay and then that's awesome. That's toxic, toxic masculinity because then those men become husbands, boyfriends. And we, as women, especially black women, have to deal with that BS and that's completely frustrating. And also it's toxic for people thinking that this is okay. And Boosie, reasoning behind it always ties back to the same thing. I don't want my child to be gay. I'm not sure what happened to Boosie in prison, but he seemed to be extremely preoccupied with homosexuality and making sure that his kids or or him don't end up as as um, as homosexuals. And it's the weirdest thing ever. I've never seen someone who claims they're they're straight so fixated by penises. If you're straight, then be straight. Let everybody else do what they want to do. Why do you keep bringing it back to this? Um, I felt bad for a lot of the guys in the commentary who were saying that they were taken advantage of because what they were, some of were saying was that it was an old, an older male relative who said, no, 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 you need to have this rites of passage and you need to sleep with this girl and, and she'll teach you the right way. This is the best way to lose your virginity. Let's be clear, 12 year olds and 13 year olds, honestly, let me keep it really, really clear. Anybody under the 18 should not be losing their virginity. It, it shouldn't even be a, a thought right now. And that's what's happening. We're teaching our young men, even our young girls, that you should be sexual by now so that you're ready at an older age. And by the way, I know plenty of men who had sex at an early age who still suck at it. So what's the point of doing it early if you're still going to suck later on in life? That's just a sidebar. Um, either way, I think we're putting the sexuality on kids so early that it confuses them on later life. And then their partners and spouses have to figure out how to you know, deconstruct this weird mentality they have about sex, um, whether it's they want to have too much of it or they don't want to have it all because they've had a negative or bad experience. Um, also, having sexing the gay away, like Boosie's mindset is, I'm going to give my kids as much heterosex, get them porn on their phone, let them have sex with older women as much as they want because that's normal. That'll keep them from being gay. That's not a thing. And they've tried that as some conversion camp for gay kids. Being gay has nothing to do with your body parts. It has nothing to do with that. It has to do with your mindset and your feelings and your emotions and all these other kind of same things. So you, there are plenty of straight boys and gay boys who, when they're in a certain age, if the wind blows past them, they get an erection. So that doesn't prove anything. And it's not a good thing for a child to have to go through. It is, it's abuse, people. I know it's weird to say that because we think of abuse as something's being forced upon them, but it's still abuse when you're convincing a kid, even better word, coercing, coercing, ooh, coercing a kid, coercing, I'm about to say that wrong, please clown me in the comments, but coercing a kid into having sex because they want to meet your standard. There are plenty of kids who have had sex with an older woman brought on by an older family member because they're like, okay, well, this older family member is saying that I should do this, so I'm going to do this because he says I should. And I love my uncle so-and-so, or I love my dad, or I love my older cousin, so I'm just going to do it. And that's sad because did that kid really want to do it? Did that kid express that they wanted to have sex with that older woman? I mean, it, it's crazy. And even worse, let's talk about the older women who are okay with doing this. I'm 35 years old. I can't imagine openly or happily saying, if a male friend came and asked me about it, be like, oh yeah, sure, I'll do that for you, absolutely. What? Like, I'm grown. My child is 14 years old. My nieces are 11 and 12. I have a nephew who was 18 years old. I, I can't even, as a grown woman, even thinking about, you know what, I'll help this boy out. You know, he, I'll take him under my wing. I'll teach him a few things. That's gross. And I had a, a real conversation with a friend of mine today when we were recording Milk in the Morning, and they were saying how a lot of women will do anything for 
So you'll commit a felony for $40? You'll commit a felony. Having sex with an underage child, whether you are male or female, is a felony. Is that worth, is $40 worth your freedom? And even worse, another conversation that's very rarely had is that there are sexual predators who are females. It's not just, it's not just males, it's, it's females. It's very rare, but there are female sexual predators. And it's, it's crazy because they, when, when older teachers, female teachers would have sex with students, they started calling it teacher love syndrome instead of calling it what it is. It's statutory rape, it's sexual abuse. Why did they get the cute thing of teacher love syndrome? No, it's rape, it's rape. There are a lot of women out here who were sexually abused by a male relative and then went on to become sexual abusers. Does it happen often? No, but it does happen. There's the kids now who, who have sex with these older women thinking it's a rite of passage, passing this awesome thing and go, go brag, every, brag to everybody about it. They grow up sometimes to have very, they, to be toxic, to be toxic, toxic and abusive. And it's not good. It's, it's just creating this vicious cycle of, of people who don't know how to relate to other people unless it's involving sex or people who don't know how to have healthy sexual relationships. It's just really sad. Um, they're saying that Boosie is supposed to be getting arrested or he's supposed to, CPS is looking into the case and I'm hoping CPS is looking into the case. But even before CPS looks into the case, where are these kids' parents? Because these would be his two nephews. So where are their parents at? And then his son, where's his mother at? Because as a mom, if, if I heard my husband, my husband would never, but if I heard my husband doing this and we were divorced, I would be pulling my child out of that home, calling CPS, calling the police, calling whoever I need to to keep my child safe and keep them in a healthy environment. What Boosie's kids seem to be in is not a healthy environment. And I get it. We're not supposed to judge other, people, other people's parenting. We're not. And I could totally get it if Boosie just said, I want my kids to have sex with other girls their age because I don't want them to be gay or whatever. I can almost get that. But the fact that he's bragging about hiring women, grown women, to have sex with his kids, these are little kids between the ages of 12 and 14, it, it boggles my mind and it's definitely a crime. So that's my rant about it. I can't be the only one who feels like this. It, it's just really sad. And... I feel bad for a lot of the men who are who are going through this or think it's okay. Like the comment section was all over the place under his comments. And I'm hoping Instagram suspends him to be honest, because think about it. This is not the first crazy thing that he says. He said, he said, made the comment about, you know, um, Dwayne Wade's transgender daughter, Zaya, about her transitioning and how Dwayne Wade's okay with that. It's all, it's just, he just says horrible things. And I get it as a freedom of speech. But hate speech is wrong and sexual abuse is wrong. You can say whatever you want to, but you have to be able to face the consequences. And that's where we have a little boozy. So drop that in my comments. Let's get the conversation started. I cannot wait to hear what everybody has to say about this. A like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you catch me tomorrow on Mocha in the Morning. I will drop the link um, in the description box below so you can check us out. Um, find me on Twitter at Kia Shakur. Find me on Instagram at I'm Kia Giovanni. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.